welcome once again to another Buffalo preview on 850koa.com. Mark Johnson and Andy Lindahl. Mark, very tough game for the Buffs last week. They did not score a point. Tough last trip to Missouri, but they've got to turn it around quickly against Baylor, don't they? Yeah, and Andy, you know, uh, I've talked about a number of times this week about for Colorado fans not pushing the panic button just yet. I know the two losses as this 3-2 and two football team stands right now are a little tough to swallow. You got the 52-7 to seven game at Cal, 26 nothing in Missouri. Keep in mind, this is a 3-2 and two football team. And with Baylor coming in here on Saturday, a winnable ball game for Colorado, followed by Texas Tech. Colorado plays much better at home. You could be talking about a 5-2 and two team. So not a lot of fun on the road, but now, as they always talk about, you got a whole serve at home, and the Buffs have to do that this weekend against Baylor. Well, let's be honest about it. They've got a very good quarterback. Baylor presents challenges. They've had some good games in the early going. You're kind of neat. You're kind of slick here right now. I'm a little dirty and grimy. The Buffs need to get a little dirty and grimy with this game plan this week, don't they? Yeah, and this is generally the way it is, dirty and grimy. But, yeah, Colorado's got to come out and, I think, get tough. And that's the thing that we've continued to talk about, this team remaining a physical football team. Big offensive line, come out and run the ball against Baylor. Baylor put some numbers up on offense, but they give up some enormous numbers on defense. For Colorado defensively, even though they're down a couple of guys with injuries, they've got to contain that quarterback Andy mentioned, that being Robert Griffin III, one of the more dynamic college football players in the country. It's family weekend. should be an energetic uh, atmosphere as the Buffaloes host Baylor for the final time at a Big 12 conference game. We'll hit the air at 3.05 with Buffalo Stampede, followed by the kickoff just after 5 o'clock. Get ready for the Buffs and the Bears this weekend. For Andy Lindell, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us on our Buffs preview here on 850kaway.com.